first off, like we were just talking about a second ago, you you mentioned all of these renovations going on to the stadium. I'm just how big is it going to be for your program and, and recruiting wise to get all this done and for recruits to you know really br make this an attractive spot for eventual college baseball players? Well, it's, it's huge for us to you know to have the facilities built up to you know what I call D1 standards. Um, and the main thing what we've been trying to do here at Pine Bluff over the years, we hadn't been able to recruit the state. And I think it's because of other facilities, because most high school facilities and the other colleges in the state had better facilities. I think now with the new additions, you know, to the field, getting the field resurfaced and redone, getting all the padding put on the walls, getting uh, the, the press box done with the locker rooms and things like that, you know, we're hoping, like in this class here, um, we can bring in half Arkansas kids and half kids from, you know, out of state. So usually we bring in about 15 kids. So hopefully now we can bring in eight Arkansas kids and, 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 and give it a more of a home feel. And, you know, you being a Pine Bluff native, you know how big baseball once was here in this, here in this town. I mean, to, br to try to bring it back, I mean, that's got to be so important to you, especially with all the renovations here in the stadium. I mean, how, how much do you want to bring – I'm trying to rephrase this quick – or the best way I can – to bring – that history back to the city of Pine Bluff. I mean, how important is that to you? Yeah, it's huge to be able to bring, uh, you know, the the, cap, the baseball, I guess, mecca uh, brand back to Pine Bluff. Uh, it's one of those things that where I, I knew taking this job, if, if we're going to be able to build program, build baseball back up in Pine Bluff, it has to start with the college, you know, and everything kind of starts up up here and it works down. And uh, with, with the, having the facilities and we've had some recent success, you know, the next step for us in really building this brand back up is beginning to bring in more home state kids like we talked about before. And then with, with building the program here, now we'll have more in-city kids and kids from around our area like Dumas and Stuttgart and Star City that will come and play here at Pine Bluff and, and, and be proud to wear that Pine Bluff across their chest. So it's huge for us. I know it hasn't been, you know, the best season so far this year. Kind of been a little bit of, of, of a tough time, I imagine. What are some of the areas that you guys are kind of struggling in a little bit throughout this season so far? Well, the main thing is just being healthy. I mean, it's one of those deals where, you know, I think you and I talked about it before, you know, we, we, what's up with us only having like five scholarships and then you have injuries, it's hard to rebound from that because you don't have the depth to be able to fill in. And then with so many of them, like I, I guess we started the season off, we were down our top three guys, you know, on the mound. Uh, those guys are still really not back. Uh, and then we also got our shortstop and second baseman flip, but they both are injured, but they still playing. Um, we only got one catcher, you know, so it's been it's been a trying time just with, you know, trying to get healthy, and, you know, and then the type of schedule we play, you know, we don't duck anybody. We'll play the best teams uh, that we can play in our region. So it's been tough on that end. Uh, but one thing I can tell you is it's been a learning experience, you know, for, for all of us, you know, because I have never been through this as a coach after we have built something and now you having to kind of regroup uh, and I think it, it just gives you some time to build some character and uh, it, it makes you kind of reflect on what's important and what's not you know so uh, right, right now we just try to keep your team morale up and, and get them learning we only have six seniors so you know we got a lot to look forward to uh, in the future I was gonna say there's got to be like a couple of things that are you're, you've been satisfied with your program though this season right it, it's just the fact you know when in these day and time it's easy to quit uh, and, and one thing I can say about my guys, they go out there every time and they're going to give their all. You know, we may can't finish the deal at the end, but one thing I can say is they get up every day and they're going to come out and they're going to work and they're going to play. Every, and just like the, the strength and conditioning coach says in the weight room, he's like, your kids still come to work and they work hard. You know, and that's the one thing we've been talking about throughout this year is building character. You know, a lot of people say, well, it's, you know, the wins and losses and all that, but this is about teaching them uh, life skills. And if you can go through some tough times and you can withstand them, there's going to be better times ahead. Uh, obviously, this is something I, you know, I'm sure you feel the same way. Needed to happen for a long time. You guys playing Arkansas, right. you know, it finally needed to happen. Can you take me through, like, how did this come about? Did you have a conversation with Dave Van Horn? Did he reach out to you? Was it the vice versa? How did that all work out? And how did you guys get this game finally on the schedule? Well, actually, uh, this is something that, you know, Coach Van Horn and I have talked about a long time ago. And, and, and not only Van Horn, but Coach Curry as well. But the thing is, it was never the coaches. You know, just everybody needs to know that it was never the coaches not wanting to play each other. It was just one of those 
things that in the state of Arkansas, that's something that we just didn't do. Uh, and then when the new administration got in and, and the new board got in, they go, well, hey, you know, this is a good idea. So it was an easy thing for us to call each other up. And, and actually, Van Horn made the first call. You know, he was like, hey, you know, we're thinking about playing. You know, you want to play. I was like, don't matter, no matter what it is, we'll be there. You know, because I think it's important for the state, you know, to – to give the kids an opportunity to compete against each other. You know, it's not about, you know, uh, taking some away from Arkansas or, you know, putting UAPB in a certain spot. It's just that we want to get out against each other and compete. And and that's all it's all about. And it's not going to – everybody know what their packing order is. You know, Arkansas is the SEC school. ULR is the Sun Belt school. I'm the SWAC school. You know, and, and what we try to do, we're all in different conferences. When we're not playing against each other, uh, we root for each other, so it's it's really not a big deal as most people make it. You know, it's got to be big also for the entire state of Arkansas as well. You know, I talked with so many people about you know a couple of weeks ago when they first played Little Rock, just how big it will be for the exposure of college baseball just in general throughout this entire state. I'm sure you have to agree with that as well. Yeah, I agree with that part, and then also I think playing playing each, each other it allows the kids in the state that can't go to Arkansas. They say, well, I'll go to ULR. If, if I can't go to Little Rock, then I'll go to Pine Bluff because they all play each other. You know, and, and I think that would help. I think that's one of the things that does help us by playing each other. We can keep more of our kids in the state, and we won't lose them to out-of-state schools. You know, we saw it a couple of weeks ago when Little Rock was able to take down Arkansas up there. What do you see out of the Hogs for tomorrow night's game, and what do you guys need to do against them, and what stands out about them in order to get a win? <laughs> Arkansas is going to be very angry come tomorrow night. Um, they had a tough weekend this weekend, and, of course, you know, they had the loss to Little Rock uh, a week or so ago. So, I mean, you got to know, being a competitor, you're going to be pretty angry. And um, so we're going to be on our best – you know, play our best game and to be able to stay in the game and stay with them, you know, because at the end of the day, they still one of the top 15 teams in the country, you know, so uh, we look forward to the challenge. I'd imagine that a win tomorrow night would be huge for your program to maybe, you know, get some confidence and, and help rally down the later part of the season. Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, anytime you can go in and, and play against your big brother and you win, I mean, that's going to give you some confidence. Um, and, and that's all I look for with my teams. Can we go in there and, and, and try to play well? Let's put together three good innings. And then after three, put together three more good innings and see can we finish it off. Uh, but other than that, it's just it, it's, a, it's a ball game that it's some magnitude to it, of course. Uh, but at the end of the day, you just want to see your team play well. Um, you know, going back to your team, you know, you still got a little bit of the SWAC season to go. What's the schedule looking like for you guys? And how do you guys try to, you know, get some confidence going and try to rally down the stretch? Yeah, we have to. I mean, we looked at it this morning. I mean, we got to get hot. I mean, this weekend is huge for us. We got Grambling coming in. Uh, we must win that series to give ourselves a chance at the end of the year at Texas Southern to be able to get into the tournament. We still got some rainout games that we need to make up, but, you know, anything can happen. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a tough get, uh, but one thing about it, you know, how baseball is, just you can find that one little thing that kind of changes your fortunes, and then you can get on a hot streak, and it could happen. And take me through again, What are, other than the new facility back here, what else are you guys planning to add throughout the stadium in the next couple of years? Again? So what we're doing is we got a, a landscaping project you know, set to start this summer, which is going to be huge. It's going to add some decks. It's going to add some pools. It's going to add some 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 foliage uh, to the place, uh, which is going to be really good. And then we plan to do a uh, uh, indoor performance center, you know, right behind the home dugout, uh, which is going to be huge for us because that's going to give us the opportunity to further be able to develop our players even further. I think with having a locker room on site and getting that performance uh, facility built, you know, now that's going to make uh, – uh, our place more appealing and attractive, and it's going to allow us to develop more too, and allow our kids to be, you know, more of a team because now everything's happens happens on site. So we, you know, we're pretty excited about what's going on here at Pine Bluff.